So James, do you want to just give us a little background on some of these chapters and tell us what's going on? So in the Gospels, Jesus is traveling a lot mm -hmm. and moving around different okay. places within this area. And you'll see him move across the lake a lot. And sometimes what happens is that people who, are, who love him are crowding him. Sometimes people who are opposed to him are kind of driving him away. But he'll move between Galilee, which is mostly Jewish, to this place called the Decapolis or the Ten Cities that's mostly Greek with a little Jewish minority. And, and you'll bounce back and forth between this Jewish world and this, and this other world. In these chapters, he's just finished performing a miracle. Um, or in these chapters, he performs a miracle in the Decapolis. And then he comes back to Capernaum. Capernaum's interesting. Uh, Matthew says Jesus returned to his own city. Well, it's not where he grew up, right? It's mm -hmm. not Nazareth. It's where Peter's wife and her mom live. And Peter's mother-in-law is this woman who's always cared for Jesus and his apostles. So it kind of feels like home mm -hmm. to them. And it's part of that perhaps because, you know, with Nazareth having rejected him. Yeah. You know, it's almost like his adopted city. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this, this is a place where there are disciples. There's been a lot of opposition too, but there's at least this one kitchen <laughs> that, that he can call home, this, this house where he can teach in the courtyard. Okay. You know? This time he gets back there, and as soon as they're hitting the dock, right, there's, there's, there's a need. Okay. One of the leaders of the city, Jairus, who's a head of the synagogue, says, sends a messenger saying, my daughter's sick. She needs help now. So Jesus heads toward that. And then the Gospels do a thing they do a lot, which is interrupt one story to give us another. Okay. And often the two are connected in some way. And you see in this case, he's heading to a 12-year-old girl who's sick. Mm -hmm. And we get the story of a woman who's been sick for 12 years. And, and she decides she needs to touch Jesus. And if she can just touch him, so much hasn't worked, but maybe she'll be healed. And that's the story. <laughs> <laughs>